Welcome back, friends. In this episode, we embark on a challenging journey from Ironwood, Michigan, through the heart of a monsoon in Wisconsin, and all the way to the astonishing badlands of South Dakota. Buckle up for a wild ride. We started our day in Ironwood, Michigan. Delighted to be free of the swarms of bugs that had plagued us for days, it was a welcome relief. Determined to be the first ready, I got up at 6.05 and made myself a cup of tea. Then I took a stroll. To my surprise, an electronic sign reminded me that we'd crossed into a new time zone, and it was actually just 5.30. But hey, I was still the first one ready. After a sunny start, we encountered a storm as we rode across Wisconsin on Highway 77. The temperature dropped from 20 degrees, or 70 Fahrenheit, to a damp 12 degrees, 54 Fahrenheit, and we were drenched by the time we reached Minnesota. There was lightning very close, followed immediately by booming thunder. It rained so hard that there was pooling on the road surface and the underpasses were flooding. Also flooded were my underpants. My new waterproof, climb Gore-Tex riding suit leaked like a Maple Leafs goalie. I was wrong. Epic fail from my climb hardinger. Soaking wet, freezing cold. I said it was a great piece of kit. I stand corrected. I'm going to do a full review of this later, but this sucks. And I can't wear this when I go to the Trans Tiaga or up to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Tomorrow's plan is to take the slab all the way across Minnesota and reach Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hello friends. Yesterday on the road, my front accessory port stopped working. I'm hoping that it was just a fuse. And so today, in this parking lot of this horrible motel, Suburban Studios in Bloomington, avoid it at all costs. It's gross. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and have a look and see if I can fix it. Should be easy. Can't really tell on fuse number seven on whether it's good or not. Hmm. And la voila. With that little problem fixed, we went and pigged out at the IHOP and we were on the road by 10.30. After that, there's not much to report. Southern Minnesota is flat and they build their roads perfectly straight. The wind was mighty today and it gave the right sides of our tire a workout as we fought to stay in our lanes. After a brief detour into Iowa, we finally reached Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and there we treated ourselves to some glamping at the KOA. Normally, we're roughing it a little bit, but today I'm going to show you a little bit of glamping. We have got this teepee, and we're all sleeping inside here. Let me come in, show you this. All right, we have a double bed, a queen size bed, a bunk bed. In the back here, there's a fan and a heater, and it actually even has an air conditioner. How crazy is that? We are at the KOA Journey in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we look way up to the top. This is super cool. We enjoyed a cozy night in the teepee. I met Serge and Jose, a delightful couple from Quebec. We shared stories and laughter in my favorite language, Franglish. 
This morning we said goodbye to Serge and Jose and set off towards the Badlands. The sunny weather made for a beautiful ride. The strong crosswinds on I-90 were exhausting, so we took a break and had a nap under the only tree we could find. After our nap, we crossed the Missouri River, where the landscape transformed into rolling grasslands. This is where I began to fall in love with South Dakota. Finally, after 250 miles of grueling crosswinds, we entered the mountain time zone and got our first breathtaking view of the Badlands. It blew my mind and captured my heart. Shot the lights out, left her lonely without a sound. Canyon fever is a moonlit bottle on the shelf. Blow the dust off, make the sign of the cross, and drink into a spell. Keep your head up, there's plenty of eyes watching from the hills. Just us, ready and aim to kill. I drag these chains, keep pulling them slowly, closer to the grave. I drag these chains, keep we set up camp at the KOA on the park boundary, enjoyed a meal, and ended the day by watching the Oilers game. What a day! I'm definitely in love with South Dakota. I love you all. Good night from the center of the continent. Go forth with an open mind and most importantly an open heart. And remember, self-care is not selfish. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Stay tuned for our next episode as we ride through the Badlands National Park and visit the ostentatious town of Wall.